Dave Evans, this is the first time we've met you, and like it or not, you are best known as the former lead singer of ACDC. Uh, yes, I guess so. That's uh, one of my titles, <laughs> as long as the king, of, as well as the king of all badasses, as well over in the United States. So, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, opened a few doors for me, of course, over the years uh, to get my music out there. But my music still had to deliver yeah. uh, because people, you know, a lot of the critics out there, uh, you know, they, they want to get savage with me and, and try to stick the, the knife into me. Uh, but when they hear my music. Uh, that uh, shuts them up, so it's good. So do you get a bit tired of, of becoming known as the first lead singer of ACDC? Is that a title that you're not enthused yeah. about? Well, you know, it's, as I say, it, it does get tiresome at times, um, but, but people that, that know me over the years when I've, when I've toured uh, overseas, uh, they know my music, they've got my albums, and uh, I'm Dave Evans, uh, and also I was the original lead singer of ACDC yep. as well. But as I say, I've got to de deliver with my music, and uh, and that's fine by me. Um, it stands up on its own. So. How did your voice differ from Bond's? Like, had you been the lead singer of ACDC? How was your the tone of your voice different? Um, I don't know. I suppose I, I was very young. I was about twenty years old. So uh, Bond was uh, older than us. He was about twenty nine or something. Uh, uh, Were you also that raspy sort of singer? Uh, well, you, in those days, there was no fallback on the uh, <laughs> on the uh, PA systems. Uh, you couldn't hear yourself singing, so you just really had to belt it out. Yeah. And uh, that's the kind of uh, sound that a lot of us had and rock and roll back in those days. Um, they said you couldn't hear yourself. You just screamed as loud as you could and hope for the best. For the best yeah. So, I mean, could that be yeah. a, a reason why that era of music is synonymous with a raw sound? Could it be as basic as that? Well, as I say, we couldn't hear ourselves. The lead singers couldn't hear themselves, you know. I had to inch towards the, the two column PAs we had in the early days and try to hear yourself. And you, you Which probably ended up giving you long-term ear damage. But, but, but also the drummers, too. They had to belt it out because there was no fallback for the drummers either. And, of course, they had to compete with the, with the guitar sounds and, and, the, and the bass amp. And there was, there was no, uh, um, what can I say, there's no amplification for the drummer. So the drummers had to belt it. So they'd reverse the drumsticks, of course, to get the heavy end, yeah. and smash hell out of the drum kit, and they'd be like, they'd breaking skins all over the joint. So maybe know? if in the early <laughs> 70s there were some foldbacks, rock music today would just sound like a string quartet it, recital. It would sound nothing like, like it does today, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And so uh, Lee Simon, who works at Triple M, told us, number one rule in radio, never take a day off. Because uh -huh. you get replaced. Is that sort of what happened at ACDC? No, not really. Um, we, we, have, we were having a fantastic time at first, and we, and we were all you know, friends and things, and I used to bunk, you know, bunk with Malcolm you know, when we toured and things. Uh, but you know, th it's like any family, mate. Um, you, know, you look at your own family, and in the end, uh, a lot of people have their own worst enemies in their own family mm -hmm. at times, even though they, uh, it shouldn't be like that. And, and so I've got nothing against the guys uh, from ACDC. In fact, you know, I think it's fantastic what they've done. It's been amazing. Uh, it's an amazing phenomenon. It's just really amazing, and it's been great for Australian rock too. Don't forget, they are Australians, even though you know they. Uh, like I'm from Wales originally, and, and the boys are from Scotland, and and the singer they got now is actually English. But um, it's a, it's Aussie. It's an Aussie sound, and uh, you know I'm very proud of that and to be part of it too. You know? Did you did you think about putting your hand up again after Bond passed away? No, not really. I mean, when when we split, it was like a final thing. It's like when you get divorced from your from your wife or something. What are you going to get remarried? <laughs> I, mean, and, I mean, some people do, and it never works out. Yeah. Uh, you know, so so no, that wasn't an option. No. Are you surprised by the behemoth that is ACDC? Like when you look at a band like I don't know UMI, they've been plying their trade for years mm. and years, and then Jet come along. And suddenly they catapult the stardom. Does, does it surprise you that ACDC took off the way they did? Um, well, no, not really. Um, the band was always uh, always a great band when we, when we first played. We always smashed it. From we always had the energy. You know, we all had that, that great energy and, and belief in ourselves. Um, and uh, you know, they used to always talk about. You know, Malcolm and Angus would always talk about taking the world on and all that kind of stuff. So it wasn't something that just kind of happened. It was. It, it was a. Uh, they knew what they wanted, and uh, and they went ahead and did it. But it's amazing that that's happened the way it has, mm. um, and it's just fantastic. I suppose the only other band to compare with them would be like the Rolling Stones, yes. you know. And uh, as I say, it's great that they're Aussies, you know. Peanut.